people used to write me letters, and once in a while I still get them. Uh, I wish you were like my father. And I tell them, I said, no, you don't. Because you see, in television, I'm a good father because somebody writes the words that I say each week. But when I go home to my family, I have to ad lib 24 hours a day. But the effect that the show had, uh, we had a lot of, uh, one time I'll never forget, we were rehearsing a show and the phone rang and it was the police in Indianapolis, Indiana, that a kid was on a roof, the roof of the jail, and was going to kill himself and wanted to talk to, to Fonzie. And Henry talked to him for 20 minutes. We just stopped doing everything we were doing. And they, and they got him down, he came down. And we, we had that a lot, personal requests. There was one gal, we never, we didn't know anything about this. This was something Anson Williams did totally on his own. But this woman was, was uh, wrote him and said that uh, her eight-year-old daughter had a crush on him and she was dying of leukemia. He brought her out. He brought the mother, the whole family out on his own, you know, just did it. So that was something else that was good. Everybody had good hearts and good feelings on the show. Did you feel pressure of being America's favorite dad? No. Did you enjoy it? Sure, I enjoyed it. I'm not, I don't know whether it helped me with my family. I mean, I had a daughter, and then in the last three years, I picked up uh, three grown-up kids, stepchildren. So uh, I had to become a, a different kind of a father all over again. You know? That was in 1980, and, and the show closed out in 83. And aside, I think the, the networks were extremely generous to us by giving us that last year. It was, a, it was their way of saying thank you for the 10 years. Because, uh, you know, we were a big force for ABC and a tremendous force for Paramount. We built their, their new commissary, their new restaurant, built all kinds of things there. 